Well, we're really excited to announce that we've launched a completely new uh, website at uh, MiltonSportsHOF.com. And uh, we really have a lot of new content on there, a lot of new features. And so we're just really excited to get that out to the public and, and get it into their hands virtually. We really wanted to keep connected with the community completely. And this this really, you know, as bad as the pandemic was, it provided an opportunity for us, uh, a little bit of breathing room to focus on other things that had kind of been sitting on the shelf, projects that we wanted to tackle. And we really wanted to take advantage of this time to get get out there and get our, our message out there more effectively to the community and share the history of, of sports in Milton. And so this uh, time period really allowed us to focus on this project and, and it was a lot of work, but we were able to get it done in a, in a reasonable amount of time. If you go in there right now, you're gonna see a lot of content about our inductees, obviously. Um, a lot of the history, you're gonna see videos as well as text stories. You're gonna be able to watch the Kojiko your TV productions of the full ceremonies, um, as well as see like the programs from those nights. We have those available, which everyone kind of likes their collector items. Um, and then we actually have a new feature, which I'm really excited about is we now have a, a store. So inductees can go and buy either a ring or a pendant to sort of have uh, some memorabilia for themselves, as well as soon we're gonna be launching um, some merchandise uh, hoodies, shirts, and caps. So those are just for people that in the community or general, uh, maybe family members that want to support their inductees. So, you know, we're really excited about those new features too. You know, it, it takes it takes a whole community to sort of preserve and protect and celebrate the history of, you know, the community. And so there are different partners like the library or the Milton Historical Society, the media, various partners that are all sort of a part of that process. But we're trying to really you know, gather that and aggregate it all and, and make it available and really accessible to the public through this new website. So I think it's an opportunity for people that are young or even students to learn a lot about the history of sports in Milton.